But he saw Brother Branham went to Israel, to Cairo, and he was told to go there. Anybody could say, as Brother Miguel spoke in these days, hey, after he goes there, he says that he's going to, he sent to make a, a number of Bibles, or a bunch of Bibles. Anybody would say, Hey, the prophet failed. Because anybody can say, if he's a prophet, then he has to, the things he does, they have to be when he says them and how he says them. A prophet's responsibility is to speak the word, and it is God's responsibility to, ref- to fulfill it. Whether it is in a minute, or whether it is after 40 years from now, he speaks it, and if it is not fulfilled by, the, by that messenger, then God fulfills it in the other. The prophet's responsibility is to speak, whether it has to be fulfilled after he speaks it, that responsibility is already, you notice it is in the hands of God, the one who sent him to speak. Our responsibility, for instance, is to build the tent which is our responsibility. Now, speaking in, in terms in which one can understand, in common terms, well, God is responsibility, not that we are disrespecting God, but it is the order. Well, God is responsibility to put his presence. That's why Brother Branham, when he was talking about coming riding on a snow white horse, and we ride on this path once more, Everybody focused that, uh, focused that towards him. From the west will come a white horse rider. I ride on this trail once again. And everybody focused on Brother Branham. And were saying, well, he's going to come back again. And when we realizing that it was the ministry that was going to make that, uh, that trail again, but in another man. And so it was with Brother William. If you notice, the, the whole trajectory of his message, everything he preached was for him to fulfill it. Everything. He even went to Israel. He even went to... Uh, you notice? He went there. But he could not bring them into the dispersion of grace, which was the dispersion that was in force. He had to bring them into the dispersion of the kingdom. Let's say he had everything, everything was there. Because it was, it was the angel of the Lord, the angel of Jesus who was there in him, who is the one that operates the ministries. Therefore, everything was there already by the dispensation for which, or to which they are going to be called in and gathered and sealed to bring them into that dispensation was not there. Did God fail? No. He did not fail. Because of what Moses did, then comes now which God already had in his plan. God comes now and rises, uh, raises another instrument, which is still the same age of Jesus. That is where, when that begins to be spoken more clearly, now this one is going to say that he's also that scripture. But it is still the same age of Jesus, the one that has worked in the ages, the angel of the Lord that worked in the Old Testament through the prophets, and then became flesh in them was the manifestation of the angel of the covenant, and in this time, it is the same angel of Jesus that is working. It is the same. And to fulfill the fulfillment, the full fulfillment of his coming, you notice how it says there, that it is to him that overcometh will I give the morning, the morning star. Notice where that scripture is fulfilled. It's fully fulfilled. We talked about that yesterday a little bit. Who the morning star is going to give the second coming. And it is the second coming. Whoever is there ministering, which he says there that the ministry of the second coming, of his second coming, is the one who is ministering there. It is the ministry of the Lord at his second coming. And you, you couple that with when he says the morning star is the pillar of fire. Where was the pillar of fire descended? In what age? 
in which dispensation it was there and it was to a people who were already prepared you see that was first that preparation before entering the jordan the people together with joshua they are well prepared in quietness like we are now and apparently nothing is being done but the greatest work is being done with ourselves it is a work of the holy of the most holy place which is not noticed only the person who is there is the one who knows what is going to to take place only you know what is going on in your heart because it is you with god and in the holy of holies everybody was outside and did not know what the high priest was doing there only the high priest and god knew and only the high priest knew what was going on and that is what is happening now in the most holy Place in that preparation that is being done no estuvo siendo hecha antes ah. fue en parte potencialmente en el 70 y pico hubo it was not parecido. being done o sea que se cumplió allí before although it was in part potentially in the year 70 something there was something similar in other words it was fulfilled there potentially that was going on to that was going to happen now in fullness that is there it was fulfilled if you notice it was fulfilled but there was not the reality and what was the reality when the people were prepared sanctified and all the transformation that was the reality now it's the real thing it is not that they were doing it hip, uh, hypocritically because they did it many but those who were eager for the transformation in 77 how many even took children out of school they already went for went into fanatism that is why now they should not take the children out of school or anything they should continue with their studies and everything but see how this is now fulfilled the reality of the, sanct of the sanctification and the reality will be fully fulfilled when we are transformed in other words now is the full fulfillment there we they were standing there anybody could say i'm not going to wait for that i'm not going to i'm going to wait for it my way and he takes a piece of rope over there and i don't know what makes a boat his way and sends himself to the jordan that's not the that's not in the story but let's do uh, sure if they were sent to uh, i i can get there too that's the land we are very near we are like a, a throw stone halfway they want to reach there their way but they will not reach it requires where the people are being prepared for adoption for transformation where the pillar of fire is and the pillar of fire the only place where it is is in the most holy place it is neither in the grace nor in the gap nor in the seventh age within the cornerstone there are many of those who have remained then who have remained in that seventh age and also in that overlap because remember that there is also an overlap there is a, a part there that are neither from there no are they from the seventh age no are they from the cornerstone in other words they were left in the middle and they neither tell you they are from one side or the other they are from and it is there where the devil then deceives them and instead of going up they they come to fall again to the seventh age where it is the devil who is then reigning let's say because it is always in the seventh age where god comes out where then the devil gets in he can't go up he is never going to go up to the cornerstone he stays down that's why it, it is in the laudation age but uh, branham says that it is satan's throne and if that is so there then it also occurs in the other dispensations no there are, are no messengers after brother william they said the same thing when john jesus himself said the prophets prophesied, prophesied until john and then jesus was missing the apostles a lot of them were missing and they said no 
that there could not be any more than a dispensation of messengers. And if you start adding Peter and you keep adding, when you come to see the numbers of God, God already knows the numbers and the reason why. And another thing that you notice that when the pillar of fire descended, there was the fullness to come to the church. The resurrection and our transformation. By that time when Brother, William, Brother Branham saw the pillar of fire descending, because the pillar of fire descends, that is the one that is going to fulfill that scripture of when that persecution comes, do not be afraid. There is a light that will take you, that will rapture us. See, there comes to do a work. The, the pillar of fire comes to do that work. Therefore, the transformation had not yet occurred. No, the rapture. But there was a ministry adopted. And like the extract I read, see how the adoption is going to start. It has an order and a sequence. For sure, there will be many who will already be prepared before and will be adopted as well because there has to be help with so many people. Then God will go in those days and those who are not ready will be prepared as well. And we are going to be people like that, common people. But with that power inside, walking among the people, no one will notice. It is like when you have within an army, if you have some spies, let's say, but there are people who are going to be helping that ministry there, because you need for a task like that, adopted, the, the adopted people need them, see? And that is what we are there for. You notice what God is doing with his people now is preparing that mighty army for that great event that is going to come of the crowd and everything and to give that coup detached uh, to, to that kingdom of darkness. When you take away a kingdom, they call it a coup detached. The same thing he will want to do at the end of the millennium. But why is he going to make a coup d'etat there? Because he remembered for sure that this is how the kingdom was taken away from him. And we are going to give him a coup d'etat. So much that we are going to take away the kingdom of darkness, which is now ruling the kingdom of the Gentiles. It will be taken away. We are going to give them a coup d'etat. But how is it going to be? With adopted children of God. It has to be a mighty army. It cannot be that God has to send angels. No. They are human beings in whom God works. One is thinking that they come. God comes in to do something with angels and everything. No. God always works through human beings, veils of flesh. In other words, they will be small anointed ones. The little anointed ones. And we say little ones because we know that there is, there is a great one who is the Lord. But not to minimize, but they are anointed, they are anointed ones of God. Anointed with the word, that is the one that anoints us. That is why everything, all this has to, all that, all this that is taking place is so important. That is what is transforming us from within, from inside. <coughs> Because if it was around the word that Abraham and Sarah obtained the, 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 that rejuvenated body, by elimination it has to be like that. And it has to be like that here. And it has to be the same. It has to be around something that is spoken. If it is not spoken, you, cannot you can't materialize that in our hearts, in, in, our, in our lives. When the archangel Gabriel appeared there and told Mary that the son to be born would be on the throne of David, notice, he spoke. He sp it was a spoken word. And that has not yet been fulfilled, but it was spoken. Now, that same thing that was spoken by the archangel who was not incarnate comes now and God speaks it through a human mouth. That is, and that is going to be fulfilled soon. In other words, 
what he spoke there now he comes and emphasizes it again and he comes and fulfills that part of he announced the second coming of the Lord also and he left now what will happen to that word that was not fulfilled when he was there where is that promised son then no that that was fulfilled in him but it is paralleled in everything you have to look there for an angel and you have to look for a son if not there is something that doesn't add up and it would not be parallel in everything a son must have been born through the word to fulfill that promise and that is the overcomer that is the one to whom God gives the morning star that is the one to whom he gives the fulfillment of his second coming and God had that in his plan and his word cannot fail whether people like it or not it is his program and from there on that is when that scripture in Psalms is fulfilled honor the son lest he be angry and his wrath come suddenly Psalms 2.12 it could not be it could not have been at the first coming because he came as the lamb and it did not refer to that son see at his first coming it refers to the promised son there when Revelation 12 speaks of the son born to the woman which is the church the son is the one who comes as the lion there is there is the wrath so you will not see wrath in a lamb but you will see wrath in a lion and now they will not honor the son the Gentiles and instead God will have all that time of mercy as it happened there the Hebrew people rejected him but the wrath did not come there he came as a lamb to redeem but now if they do not honor the son now they will not go through all that time again but now it is the wrath of God poured onto the kingdom of the Gentiles and the same thing that the Hebrew people did they rejected him here the Gentiles rejected him they reject him but instead of receiving mercy then they receive judgment there indeed those words are fulfilled a blasphemy against the son of man at that time was forgiven but now but in the day it shall not be forgiven the same one who said in Isaiah that I am he that doeth speak behold it is I it is I of course we, we see him present he's the one who is working doing everything and then afterwards in each one of us in all his fullness that is why you are saying in this for if he is going to be poured out did he not pour himself out in tongues of fire pillars of fire on the day of Pentecost so he is going to pour himself out in all of us in each one of us and there it is the mighty lion's army of the lion of the tribe of Judah that will be something glorious that God will do in those days and after 30 to 40 days already with those that are coming which is a reinforcement and that reinforcement when it comes and then the world will know that the power of God is manifested in the children of God headed by the ministry that God already has there at that time <coughs> there is something tremendous there because you notice the blessing that has touched us we still do not know even a little bit of how great you and I are in the divine program that he has been pleased with people like us that we are not even worthy but he has made us worthy and he has been pleased to dwell in our hearts he's already doing it because he is the word if it were not so he would be jealous and say no i'm not going to speak this to them why don't why, why don't many receive it i say many because there are many we re, we receive it and many also receive it but why do some not receive it some don't receive it because they are not worthy to receive god because god is the word and you may say how can it be i have god in my heart and why do you reject him do you see the way to reject god as well god is the word and if you do not receive that word moreover some have already said that 
uh, that of that knowledge that it poisons me or it, conta- it contaminates me something like that you can imagine to be saying to God the creator of heavens and earth that he is uh, a poisoner that he can poison they are lacking understanding to speak to God like that those are some of the things which make the son angry that is why at some point time will come when the word will be spoken and things will be happening because there are times when one says look enough is enough but there's going to come a time when enough is enough and that is when you will see who is in the midst of the people um, part two of this same message that is why John Brother Branham says that he says that in the book of Seals he was told let that pass don't write it down for they will stumble over that over it and if they will stumble over it you see the word they stumble over it it is because it has to be by or through a veil of flesh and if they will stumble at that you see it is because it must be by the means of veil of flesh and also when it speaks of imitation it is also because there is a veil of flesh involved and if they are going to be to, to stumble with that with what John was going to write there it was because the fulfillment of what God was going to be showing and fulfilling in the midst of the church bride was through a veil of flesh then in the human mind it was impossible that such a great thing was being fulfilled that was going to give the faith of rapture the faith of transformation to the elect who could be saying that in the end time that the mass seat which is where mass is the only place and knowing that the angel that is there with the prayers of the saints but you notice because the throne that is in heaven is of judgment those prayers are added but they are they come to be placed in the mercy seat provided by God that is the new mercy seat now all that as it was in the holy of holies in the spiritual temple now becomes a reality in the midst of the human race as the temple of mercy was a reality in Jesus so how the throne of mercy then comes to be the throne that before was mercy and now is the throne of judgment but that mercy then comes to the human throne in this end time and in that human throne is also where the divine judgment is in other words there is judgment and there is mercy mercy for the elect because the mercy there must be mercy because we are in these bodies and there is the divine judgment because already then God does not see humanity through the human mercy through the throne of mercy but then when he sees humanity he sees it through the throne of judgment and therefore the throne of judgment then imparts judgment but wait they are still the elect here there are many children of God there so God guides his children he sees them through those ministries he protects them he gives them at that time at night when they were eating the lamb fast because death was about to appear and they had to eat it fast the angel of death was about to appear in other words the divine judgment the great tribulation and therefore we had to be eating which is the time of the word the revelation the rapturing of the rapturing faith eating it quickly so that the divine judgments of the good tribulation do not touch us and god takes us to the marriage supper of the lamb that is why the 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 great blessing that to, that one of god's elect is receiving and will receive is so great that there are no words to describe it and to be to show thankfulness to our heavenly father that God sent it again he sent mercy again through that ministry that he left because he says in a message that he he left the ministry of Moses and Elijah and that's why it is not going to be denominationalized and we thank God for William Santiago God allowed that powerful archangel to return and to do the work corresponding to those days that God allowed him to be here which was a very but very great work apparently it was the greatest time 
the time it was the time of this powerful archangel this messenger but it was the greatest work it was the greatest work that this powerful messenger did on earth it was that time it was in that time that he asked for more time and came back in our midst that was the greatest work that he did because we are already going to see why that work was the greatest the greatest, the greatest work he did in the most holy place there was no movement sin there was nothing sin when the high priest went in which was a work for that coming year they depended they all depended on that work of reconciliation of the people but notice no one knew what was going on there it was total silence and in that silence god was doing and carrying out a work the greatest work that god was carrying out at that moment in the was the work that the high priest was doing in the temple there in the temple of moses and the one of solomon that work that the high priest was doing at that moment was the greatest in the time of Cyrus where the people apparently alone remained in expectation of what was happening there now it is the great work that God is doing in the most holy place of his spiritual temple in his church in this end time and that is the work where the adoption of his children will depend the adoption of the elect of God and it is the most important work that God is doing in this end time in the midst of his church many will not know what is happening in that spiritual temple in his church even if they are present they will not know for it is the veil that blinds them and since they cannot see through the veil they cannot know what is happening in the most holy place in the holy of holies only those who are in the most holy place will understand they will understand they will be seeing what is happening there because they have passed the veil and by passing the veil one can already see what is happening there the veil is always the instrument that god is using in every age and in every dispensation to pass the veil to pierce the veil is to see that manifestation of God, to believe it, to receive it, and then automatically you become part of that work that is being done by that veil of flesh in the most holy place. All that is seen in Revelation 8 and Revelation 15, where the temple is seen open and everything there is seen but all that can only be seen by God's elect when the veil was torn from top to bottom you could see inside and you could see the mercy seat you could see who it was that was there from that moment on to fulfill the purpose for which that mercy seat came which was Jesus and the believers in him at his first coming could see that mercy seat they could see behind the veil because it was torn and opened and now in his second coming when that veil is torn opened the veil of the temple was opened says Revelation 15 they can see they can look who he is that new master sit and where it is and they can believe in him and thus be prepared for the adoption without this time in this time without the knowledge of where the mercy of god is and where the rapturing faith is and where the promises are and all the work that is being carried out all the work that god is doing in this time in which we are living in without knowing that then it's up to the person to go through the great tribulation. The same thing that he told us, that if he did not return and ask for more time, we would have to go through the great tribulation. One says, but he went away again, where he was telling us the great work that he came to do in those days when God allowed him to return, because it was with that work that our adoption and transformation depended. He left in those days that he was here with us, already prepared the way 
for the one who was going to continue that work, the corresponding divine program to give them the to give us the rapture in faith. That's why he said, if I did not return, you had to go through the good tribulation. See, a very important work that he did when he returned, because there was something that happened so that the divine program would go forward in that scepter that title did to leave it here on earth so that through the one to whom that title did was given the work would be carried out in the most holy place of the spiritual temple of the Lord which is his, wa- his church Without him returning, then it was necessary to go through the divine judgment. But thank God for Brother William Santiago. He asked for more time and he returned. Because this way, you and I can be here enjoying the blessings while we are in this earthly bodies preparing ourselves for adoption, for our transformation. It is the work of the most holy place which God is carrying out in this end time so that we may obtain all the blessings contained in the work of the most holy place and that work is only being seen by those who will obtain the benefits of the most holy place and it is the pillar of fire, the Shekinah. It is the presence of God that will be very soon in all its fullness, in all the children of God. Just like the tongues of fire were distributed there on the day of Pentecost, it is from Him and part of Him that we will also receive, but not in the first fruits, but in all His fullness. It will no longer be little rays of light, but it is the total light, the complete light, the sun of righteousness, the whole incense of God in us. The blessings that God has for us are something so great and glorious that we cannot say anything else but thank you, Lord, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the land and have revealed them to us. Thank you, Lord, for you have hidden these things from the wise and the land and have revealed them to us. So it pleased you, Father, that, that was, thus it was pleasing that I was predestined the child, I was predestined, your child, erect before the foundation of the world that I should soon be in the image which you already are in likeness in one body, in the image and likeness of God, creator of heaven and the earth. We will soon be in that so, God has blessed us greatly and He will continue to bless us until He fulfills in us His promise. The work in the most holy place. It is the subject that we put in this morning sharing. And now here I am with uh, the button pressed. I was going to give a few words to our brother Miguel and Sister Ruth over here who was talking with her to tell Brother Miguel also, who is there with him, about what we talked about this morning. But I pressed the button to record what I was going to write, because I was going to write too much. Then I prefer to press a little button to here of my cell phone to better record what I was going to to write. And everything we have talked about a blessing that God has for his children for us. So we thank God for that. May God bless you, Brother Miguel and Sister Ruth and also all the ministers and brethren greatly. May God bless you greatly. May you continue holding on to the word, on to the message in this preparation that God is doing in the midst of his people which is giving us the rapturing faith, his word. In other words, giving us from him because God is the word. And since we are the word also, for word and word are uniting. Heaven and earth are kissing each other. The children of God are gathering together, are coming together. May God bless you, may God keep you. God bless you, Ruth. And God bless you, Brother Miguel.